chance to say good morning to you. Greet them with the holy kiss. Let them know that the churches of Christ salute them. Thank you, 
Now lay he to set at. Hitherto. Sit it behind. Hitherto. Hath the Lord. Helped us. One more day. Hitherto. Hath the Lord. Helped us. Nothing gives a child of God confidence. Uh -huh. And courage quite like knowing that God is their help. When you know that God is your help, it gives you a sense of security that's unparalleled to anything you can ever experience in life. Right. Just knowing that God has got your back. Right. Just knowing that God is watching over you. Yes, sir. Just knowing that God is looking out for you is a feeling. That can hardly be expressed with words. Right. It's not just something that you say. But it is a confidence or a surety that says because God is with me. Yeah. He's more than the world against me. Right. It's a confidence that says as long as God is with me. I know that I can't do anything but fail. Yeah. It's a surety that is expressed in how I deal with difficulty. It is a, a surety that is expressed in how I handle the heartaches of life. It's a surety that is expressed in how I take the lemons of life and turn them into lemonade. Oh yes, just knowing, just knowing that God is your help makes all of the difference in the world. Even the psalmist of old understood the benefits and the power of God being his help. When he penned the words in Psalms 33, 20, that our soul waiteth for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. In Psalms 46, 1, the psalmist said, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. In Psalms 121, verses 1 and 2, the psalmist once again says, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. Even in the New Testament, the Hebrew writer wrote in chapter 13 and verses 5 and 6, Let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things that you have. For he hath said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee, so that we may boldly say, The Lord is my God. I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Yes, my brothers and sisters, there is quite no feeling in the world like knowing that God is your help. And one would think that out of all of the occasions that Israel had where God had proven himself to be their help, that they would know better than to fool with idols. I mean, after God rescues you from Egypt by killing the death of all the first going in Egypt uh -huh. and sparing yours, you would think that they would know that God was their help. Right. After seeing God split the Red Sea in half and drown in Pharaoh's army so that they couldn't come behind him, right. you would think that Israel would know that God is their help. Uh -huh. After quenching their thirst in the wilderness uh -huh. by giving them water from a dry rock. Right. You would think that Israel would know that God is their help. After giving them victory over the first ambush battle with the Amalekites uh -huh. by having Moses just hold his hands up on a mountain, you would think that they would know that God is their help. But as it is today, so it was back in Israel's day. Israel still forgot no matter how good God had been, no matter how much God had brought them through, no matter how much God had saw them through difficulty, they still forgot to remember that God was the help. And when they forgot that, they left God and started worshiping idols. 